Alright, this is Bowie Brothers Tactical going to give you a little bit of the history behind Bowie Brothers Tactical and where we've been, what we've been doing, why we've even come up with Bowie Brothers Tactical and desire to launch this company. It really started at about age four and five for us, uh, which is over 40 well, years ago. ago. <laughs> Just leave it at that. So, we were in my dad's garage. And uh, we would play around with all kinds of different tools and things. And we one day found knives that he had stored there. And, and we'd ask to play with the knives. And one day he said, okay, we'll, we'll let you play with the knife. But he took the knife and went over to his grinder. And yeah, there was some noise of grinding. And then he come back with this. And he said, this you can play with. And so he gave us this little knife to play with. And there was a... This fake pearl handle one, had a black handle one, and a red handled one. And they were and never really very sharp. So he he would let us play with them in the garage. We'd have to fold them up and put them by the vise, and every time we were in the garage, we could use them. Well, that kind of began a love for knives, even just way early. And so as the years would go by, we would collect knives. We'd buy knives. But probably about uh, 10 11 years old, somewhere in that neighborhood, our dad bought us knives. And we thought these were the best knives in the world. And it was the Matterhorn. An old Matterhorn knife probably cost $5.99 back in the 70s. And Do they still sell these? Maybe. I don't know. And so the Matterhorn was a knife where we would use it for all kinds of things. We'd cut weeds, make cabins, all kinds of different things. It had all kinds of tools on it. Uh, his is in much better shape than mine. I lost both my handles. I and, took care of mine. Uh, no, no. I, well, uh, Maybe. My blade broke. Uh, I had problems. Abuse. So, anyway, these knives led to further and further desire, love for knives in various ways. So, we uh, collect knives. We make knives. And uh, tell them the story of your inspiration for uh, a knife. Well, Dad used to use that thing when he was hunting, and uh, he would cut up deer that he had gotten during hunting season, and it, it, was, it was always really sharp, and we weren't allowed to use it most of the time. What did he make it out of? A file. Just a regular old file. Um, a metal file. And it was ground slow to not take the temper out. And I thought that was just the most amazing thing. You could make your own knives. You didn't have to go to the store to buy them. So... As I got older and, and got some tools on my own, uh, I came up with this. And this is out of a file. And you can still see the word handy file Nicholson on the file. Uh, and the file is still there. You can still see. And uh, it's, it's pretty crude. Uh, and really not that attractive. It's not the greatest knife. But for a first attempt, it wasn't bad. And it began my love and desire for making knives or, or making edged weapons in general or edged tools and uh, and it wasn't too many years later that you know I got a little bit better um, I, I wanted uh, let me explain this first I wanted a coffin back traditional style Bowie and the more I looked online I'm like eh, I don't really see what I like and when I did see something I like I'm like oh, I don't want to pay that so I'll make one so I did and there's the coffin style back, stainless steel, uh, and this is, and you can see Nicholson, this is a horse rasp, so a farrier would use this to trim up horse hooves. And uh, it actually, you know, it turned out pretty nice, I think. And from then on, we began a journey in learning about steel. We started getting knives um, out of much, much higher quality steels. And uh, this is a Spyderco. And Spyderco typically puts the type of steel on the blade. And that's one reason you can tell quality as well. So we learned about what what makes a quality blade. And then we started learning, oh, okay, metallurgy. When we started looking into making the Guardian, designing the Guardian, what, what makes toughness in steel? What makes hardness and, and edge-holding ability in steel? And how, what is the tempering process? How long do you need to do the tempering process? And what temperature? And to get the optimal range for the tool that you're trying to build. And so we ended up about seven years ago as he had his idea of let's make tomahawks. And that idea developed into research, design, 
all kinds of testing and models uh, that we were looking, drawings, we have lots of drawings of concepts, until we finally ended up with this design and we put it to, uh, to a water jetter with a piece of steel and uh, began to realize uh, our dream and design for uh, the ultimate rescue and survival tool. And please see our video where we do all the destruction here and test the tomahawk. You can see the video at BowieBrothersTactical.com. It should be posted on our Facebook, Bowie Brothers. Uh, and join us. We're going to start a Kickstarter campaign to launch a new business. This Bowie Brothers Tactical is, it's time to take off with Bowie Brothers Tactical and introduce our tactical uh, survival tools to everyone. And so we are going to be asking for participants in our Kickstarter campaign in the near future. Yes, we have lots more designs in the pipeline, more tests we want to do, and there will be videos forthcoming as we go along. So join us on our journey and be part of our Kickstarter campaign. Thank you. Thank you.